Welcome to the Turing Test. Team up with our contestants as they decipher whether showcased creations are crafted by humans or generated by cutting-edge AI like ChatGBT and MidJourney. Join in, challenge your intuition, and follow the rapidly evolving world where AI blurs the lines between human and machine. In marketing, I've seen different ways you can use it. I think it's really crazy, a little bit scary, how fast it could do things. I've used Midjourney. I've used a lot of AI. I'm aware of what is happening, but I'm not like super, like I don't know like the technology behind it or anything like that. Yeah, I'm just getting acquainted with it. Yeah, I haven't really used it yet. Is this a AI or human generated image? Her skin looks very smooth. I think it is a human image because it kind of, it has both like the real looking person and then the artwork behind it. My immediate thought was, okay, it's not AI, but I can see that the hair has like this kind of like smoothness to it. I think it's human because of, well, the painting looks just like her. And I believe that she's, I believe that she's an artist. And I feel like the shadowing, like you could see the shadowing, like where the light is over here versus like this. And there's some like stray hairs. And then there's like stuff in the background that you can see that seems detailed. And so that, so that makes me think it's AI because a lot of the AI that's made that has like realistic tendencies to it tend to like have um, like these little spots of like, it's like super smooth and it's not supposed to, if it was real, it wouldn't be smooth, so. However, the clip on top of the artwork kind of looks fake. I think my final answer, just because the clip on top of the artwork, I would assume to be a real clip holding the artwork, looks fake. I'm going to say it's actually AI. Oh my god, I did it! <laughs> say AI. See the background, the pencil work and brushes in the back? I'm pretty sure she, she's an artist and she made that portrait of herself. Really? That's why I say I think AI is so scary in ways because she looks so realistic. There's even like this little side piece of hair that's sticking out that makes it look more realistic to me. And there's even shadowing. Well, there's, it looks like there's a mirror in the background. So I was like, okay, it's a mirror, but it's the more, and also because there's a portrait in the background. So I was like, oh, this is probably someone like showing off their art school project. But no, I, no, the hair is like, wait, it's too, Nice. <laughs> it's too nice. So the, the painting looks like it's too, it's vivid, too vivid. It's, it's standing out. I gave it the benefit of the doubt that she's just standing there just to acknowledge that she did that. But and it's just crazy that even those tiny, tiny little details, like with the blue cups, and it looks like like art supplies behind her shoulder over here. It's so detailed. So it's crazy. If if this was posted on Facebook, my parents would probably believe it. Like, they would definitely think it's real. I think that people, I mean, there's a lot of people in the world that do really weird things. And I think that it could get very dangerous. And there's even eye bags underneath from, like, where the shadowing would be. So that's scary that you don't know what's real or not nowadays. And now knowing that it was, it's an AI work of art, then, yeah, a lot of people are going to be fooled. Like, I just was, yeah. Is this a AI or human generated art piece? I think that's definitely AI and it looks like some sort of filter and also the mirror on the car. It looks like anime to me. I feel like this is like someone did this on their iPad. People use like virtual like drawing. I don't know, I've never done it before. So the art is digital and she, it's half of her body that's real. So it might be like a filter. My brain is like, okay, it could be that, or it could be like AI. So I'm like, okay, what? But I think that, cause it looks like someone like drew these things, like especially the, uh, in the background, there's like the dots on your windshield. So I feel like that's definitely gotta be AI. So I'm going to say it is human made. Wow. So I would say it's human. Just cause like I, I knew it looked anime looking, so I, I thought it was AI generated or like I thought it might've been some sort of, I know on um, TikTok now there's this filter that like will change your room into like digital art looking. And I could definitely tell like whoever did this clearly like really like got the little, little details like the hair on the arm and like I said the dots 
And also the eyebrows are like very like specifically shaped. And I can tell that someone, that that was someone's choice and not like generated. The hairs, they're pretty, you know, they're not abundant, but they're human, like, like a human would have, you know? I would probably tell that if, if it was AI, like maybe this would be flat, like, you know, no hair, maybe, perhaps. It kind of reminds me of like back in the older days or like where you listened to music on your desktop and you saw like the little CD and it had like those little weird laser looking things. But the beginning looks like a living organism. I, at first I was thinking like, okay, maybe like it's some like kind of claymation type of situation happening. Uh, I follow a lot of artists that do like these kind of claymation art and, you know, they could really make it believable and make it think that it's AI generated. It's very sensitive. Uh, I think it would AI. Oh. So the fact that it's kind of like those two weird pairing combos together makes me think it might be AI. But again, somebody could make it digitally. So it's kind of hard to tell. I'm going to go with AI just because it's kind of like two weird things together. I feel like... It could, this could be like animated by somebody because that's a, that's a whole other like thing. Hmm. I'm going to say that it is not AI generated. I thought it was AI just because it kind of seemed weird to me. It was like, it seemed like two separate ideas. It seemed like, like the lasers in the background and then the beginning like part looks almost like a cell or like a living being that's like dumping. So I thought it was just like two random, sometimes in AI you see like two random ideas like thrown together. So I thought that's what it was, but it's so hard to tell the difference between like digital art and AI. The way that it moved was very specific, especially with animation and computer animation. Um, there's definitely like a very, like I said before, like a very specific way it's, they want it done. And I feel like with AI, very different flow to it. And I feel like it wouldn't be like as um, smooth as this was. Upon the verdant fields where wildflowers bloom, in nature's vibrant tapestry, I am lost. The gentle zephyrs whisper love, consume, my heart with longing, at what heavy cost. It seems like something I could have read in English class. I don't know, it's so hard. That could have been ChatGBT or it could have been like Shakespeare. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's why, again, it's so scary. You don't know what's real or what's not. I'm not really a poetry person, so I don't know how deep poetry can get, but I, f I don't know why, but I feel like this is something that like someone wouldn't write or if they did, um, it's not like their best. I would say human. Wow. I'm gonna say human? Oh God. The way that it's just like said kind of like doesn't really make a lot of sense. So I'm gonna say that it is AI. Correct. I don't know. I, I literally could picture myself reading this in English class in a book that like I'm confused about. It sounds very, um, what's the word? Like when it's like a detail, but you can like use your senses to like visually see it. It has like a lot of those details which made me think it might have been human. I almost did it um, AI, but then again, certain words that I'm just like, that person had to be there to feel that emotion. Lost, love, heart, heavy, cold, you know? It's pretty much human. And there's AI now where you can upload different pictures just like with your face showing. And it'll literally generate a realistic picture of you in a suit and it'll look like you're in a suit with a professional background. So like, there's no point of the headshot photographers. Why would you pay $200 for a headshot photographer when you could be in your bed for $3.99? You don't even need to get changed. You don't even need to put clothes on. You don't even need to put your makeup or hair on. You can tell pretty quickly what they're trying to say, even if it's like very in-depth and very detailed. And this just doesn't feel like that. It probably lost a sense of value of what it really means because AIs are just robots, you know? They don't feel. They think they are feeling, but they're not really lost, gentle, love, lovable, heartfelt, and like with some type of a like heavy cost, like. <laughs>
So I think it will replace poets, photographers, writers, possibly like marketing people that like write captions and stuff like that. I think it's a little bit scary. It feels like something found like words on the internet that sounded pretty and then just put it in a paragraph. Uh, so yeah, that's how I came to that conclusion. And AI, thinking that they're troubled by some, some way, somehow they're, they're feeling what a human is feeling. Pretty, I don't know where it could lead to. I'm gonna say it looks like a scan of artwork maybe, because it has like the little vertical lines going down and it looks like something older. This is definitely human. Uh, I'm like a huge painting person and I, lo I look at paintings all the time, but I've also seen a lot of AI art where it's got like, it really puts in those textures. There's a chance that this is AI art. I'm gonna say human. It looks like brush strokes. Human? Oh, I got something right. Human. Oh, oh human. So yeah, I think this is human. Correct. So for this one, I thought human maybe because it looks like brush strokes maybe. It looks like older. I think like the lines going down vertically towards the bottom. I've seen people replicate like Van Gogh's paintings because they are like a lot of his paintings have this specific like rigid style to it that a lot of AI like uses. It's kind of scary, but at the same time, it's like, it's a Van Gogh painting. So of course it's it's like one of the most popular paintings. Yeah, the, there's both. You see, you, I can see the strokes, the blending of the colors. It looks like a, like, you know, like a Salvador Dali or maybe even uh, Francis Bacon. Yeah, I paint, yeah, I use um, acrylic, but this, this looks like it's oil based. And in the drips, you know, the scattering of the eyes that vivid kind of work that uh, only an artist could portray. But I've seen people like on Twitter saying that AIR is like this beautiful, amazing thing and it's much better than like handmade art. Um, and that's pretty scary because I know that there's people that work very, very hard and sell their art. This is where trouble's gonna come in where, you know, whoever wants to become an artist didn't really even go to school to, well, you don't have to go to school to become an artist, but certain things that are gonna be cut off, not give much more, uh, influence to society because it's fake. So nobody's really trying too hard to, to show who they are, what they really mean.